Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode we were having some serious power problems and today we are going to fix those. So I have made 6 boilers and 12 uh, steam engines which we're going to set up. But that is not going to solve the problem entirely because what we're really lacking also is coal. And right now all coal that we are producing is being led to the power, so we don't actually have uh, coal going to our uh, production lines. Uh, uh, to, to the smelting, you might say. So that's something that we're going to need to fix. Uh, and that means that we're going to have to go and grab uh, a new coal deposit so that we can uh, expand on that and the closest one we have is over here with 2.7 million coal and that works out just fine so we're going to go grab that uh, coal deposit and get some miners set up and get it routed back uh, over here somehow and that really should be on trains but we're desperate for coal so it's not going to be it's going to be on a uh, conveyor belt, uh, at least for now. We did, however, get the um, copper uh, problem fixed last time, so that's nice. And well, why are we out uh, belts? Uh, we can just use uh, one of these for now, like so. All right, and we actually want. To do in prior put priority left, so that this is the stuff going first, so that we get uh, our coal patch or a uh, copper patch over here uh, cleared up before the other one. But uh, let's go get some belts. Uh, we have enough miners, I think. But we need to get some research going. Let's get the logistics robotics. Because all of this would have been so much easier if we just had robots. But uh, we don't. Alright, so let's go grab what we need. We need some uh, transport belt. We have down here. Uh, not a lot, but we have some. And we have undergroundies. We have splitters. We could actually do with some more undergroundies. So let's get that. Uh, I think we have enough power poles. Anything else we need? We need some turrets and we need some ammo. Uh, where do we have turrets? We have turrets here. Grab a hundred of those. And then grab some ammo. Which we don't have enough of either. But that is uh, caused by our lack of uh, copper plates. And our lack of copper plates is going to be worse now that we are not producing enough coal to actually smelt the copper ore that we're getting. So yeah, we have a few issues at the moment. But we're going to fix them, and we're going to do that by grabbing this uh, coal patch right here. So it's quite easy to defend. We basically just need to set up some turrets down here. Then it's defended. So let's do that first so that we can work in peace. Oops. There, there, and uh, let's just do like this. And I think we'll put a couple extra over here what we could do is split this out so that it runs down and uh, feeds these guys i think we'll do that so we'll put a splitter in there and just get our uh, let's see where does it need to be it needs to be here 
Can our undergroundy reach that far? No, it cannot. Uh, which needs we need to go up one. And then it still can't. Dang it. Okay, so what we'll do is like that and like that. And get this ammo over here. We need to fill this in, I guess. Uh, do we have uh, any landfill? Uh, I guess we don't. I don't make landfill very often. Uh, where is landfill even? Have we even researched landfill? Yes, we have. We can make five. Let's uh, go ahead and do that for now. And see uh, if that's enough. I doubt it, because landfill takes up a lot. It's already done. We can't even close that gap. All right. It's fine. We'll live with uh, one turret not having ammo for now or being fed ammo for now we'll just give it some uh, we need some inserters for this not for you not yet and there we go oh and some uh, power poles Uh, there, 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 and there, and then we'll get some lights as well, so we can see what's going on down here, All right, and then we, of course, we need to hook the power poles up to some power, um, we could just run it up here, I think that's what we'll do. as well do it in a straight line there we go those guys have power and are now getting fed some ammo except for this guy who will just uh, give some ammo all right so let's get we need a lot more landfill to get all of this uh, but we can get started uh, so we want it here There. And uh, okay. Can't actually get anything out right there. Oops. You need to set a machine up to just make landfill, I think. This is enough coal for now. So let's get some uh, power poles in. We'll do that here. Okay. Oops. Like that. And like this. All right. So that coal production is going. Uh, we need an underground here for now. And we need, of course, to get belts on the other side as well. And this can go into one belt for now at least. And then we just need to get that back belt uh, built back to the cover the power and melting areas which uh, isn't going to be too hard but it's going to take a lot of belt which we don't have so that's a bit of a problem we are actually already out of belt so let's go grab some more. I think we'll grab some materials so we can uh, handcraft some maybe. Yeah, but we, if we do that, we need to craft. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, let's see how many we have. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, grab some uh, iron plate and some iron gear wheels and have a look we can make 26 more so not a whole lot but it's better than nothing let's uh, get this belt pulled out and i think i want to which way do we want to go because we have this lake in the way so i guess we'll go over here under the the oil line and go up and around and somehow feed into here yeah hope there's not too much stuff in the way that we have to clear out we got logistics robotics let's do lasers And just pull this belt along, uh, along as we run. And are we going to have a problem here? It doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, we are. But we can easily fix that. There's just a little underground pipe in the way. All right, so we're almost over to the oil. Go get some more belts. You can see there's basically no uh, flow of anything now because everything has run out of, of coal, so no materials are being made for it. Uh, actually, let's just stay here for a little while and grab materials to make belts. There, 79, better than nothing. I'll make all of them. We're not gonna be able to keep up, but uh, We'll get there eventually. And we're out. But we're producing. Yeah, so this is a really bad situation we're in. Everything is, has kind of grinded to a halt, which means no ammo, no, basically no anything. So, Our turrets might start running out of, uh, of ammo. Uh, everything could just go terribly, terribly wrong right now. Let's grab all of these. Uh, gear wheels. And grab some iron plate and make an another batch of belts grab what's left here not a lot and go back down there and continue we're getting close to being back so it's not too bad all right so where are we I really have, have liked to do a train on this, but we need it so desperately that it's just not feasible to wait. Uh, this way. Alright, so we are in sight of the lines. So all we need to do is, I guess, we can grab some of this belt, which is not in use anymore. And 
none of this is in use. So we need to get up and hook into this, uh, which we could make a little bit nicer, but not sure I really care about that right now. Let's do it anyway. So we'll run it up uh, here. So, and then we need to run it up and into that. Need an undergroundy, and we need an undergroundy here. And that will feed at least our uh, smelting area. But I think I want to just do a splitter here. And a splitter here. And then this one say input priority right. Oh, yes, right. So that uh, the hole over on this side gets used first. But all right, we have uh, we've saved our coal uh, situation for now. So that is very good. And these are start getting starting getting fed uh, some coal again. This is excellent, which means that our production will get up and running again. And these are already ready to go. And coal is starting to migrate up through the, the smelting lines. So very good, very good indeed. Yeah, much better. All right, so that's our coal uh, production uh, fixed, or our coal problem, you might say. And we fixed our copper problem as well. We are producing producing enough power at the moment for now at least so yeah which uh, and all of this throughput will also mean that we are fixing ammo problems and so on and so forth so very very nice let's just uh, fix this up we don't have any yellow belts on these lines <coughs> excuse me all right so all of that is done uh, let's get rid of the yellow belt that we have on us and grab some more of the fast transport belt all right we're uh, we're getting there we're getting there so the next uh, project was going to be um, whoops, this one uh, we're going to make uh, chemical science packs but we don't really have time to set all of that up in today's episode so what i think i'll go and do is i'll grab a stack of these and i think i'll go uh, maybe fix a bit of throughput for the oil um, Let's see, what do we want to research? Stack inserters. Absolutely. And how we're going to do that is we're just gonna, oh, we need to make the pumps first. Just make 10 pumps. And we're going to stick a pump on here. And hook it back up. And then we need some power for it. Uh, so what I guess I'll do is just stick one of these like so. This should help a little bit with uh, the throughput and certainly no, there will be no, uh, I don't know what it's called, backflow, I guess, uh, where it goes back this way over here to the right. Uh, 
because we don't want that. We just want it to go over towards the plants here. And I'm thinking that we could do the same with all of these. So we could stick a pump there, a pump there. And we can't stick a pump there, but we can stick, stick one here. What we'll do is this. Hmm. Like so. And then we just need the undergrounds to hook up here. Like so, and some power. This power pole will actually hook up all of them. Because that means we won't have backflow there. So anything that's uh, pumped out of the tanks won't be going back into the tanks. Which is a good thing. How full are these? It's the light oil that's a problem right now. That's why we're not producing anything anywhere, I guess. And that's because we are not uh, using the, uh, the solid fuel. Let's just pull it out, then we'll use a little bit. And once we get our uh, chemical science going, we we will be using quite a bit of solid fuel, so everything should be fine. But let's just uh, check on our ammo production and see that that is going again. And it looks like it is. We are getting copper all the way. I think we need to upgrade our copper line and maybe even our copper production. So here we have yellow belt going. Let's fix that. From all the way down here. And this one as well. And even the undergroundy is a yellow belt. So let's just fix that up. And we can just run this backwards. Uh, better, better. And just fix up the whole line. Which will be good for us, I think, in the long run. It certainly will be good for us in the long run. Right now it doesn't matter that much. Uh, but because we don't have a full uh, <clears throat> a full uh, production set up but we might as well prepare for uh, for the future where we certainly will so let's just get all of this done that's already nice and sp splitter these are not Just go back here and see how far we get with uh, the fast belt. Not that far, but it's better than nothing. These two can be fast, but we need a little bit more fast belt and we will have fixed up the entire line. But I think uh, I'll get all of this uh, done. I think I'll update all of the belts to fast belts and so on uh, in between episodes so that you don't have to watch uh, watch me do all, all of that everywhere because that it can take a while and it gets a little bit boring when you've been doing it for a while. So, uh, But it's something that just needs to be done. Uh, so for now, Thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.